You know, I didn't think I'd be coming back to this place ever again. When I left a while ago, I was ready to forget all these weeks of everything. And yet, here I am. About to go back in to face a chick with psychic powers and the world's top superheroes under her control. <laughs> yeah, it does sound really bad when I say it like that, but it is the truth, right? Aid, I don't think you should be in there. Yeah, I know I'll be using my own energy, but you'll be safe from her influence. Considering that she already has several very powerful heroes under her control, it's safe to say that she's already quite strong. We don't need to give her a boost. I promise, I'll be fine, Aid. Go. Find somewhere safe. Just in case. All right, Cortex. I know you know I'm here. Let's play. <laughs> really? Sending others to fight for you? That's a bit cowardly. Why should, Why I, should stoop I stoop so, so low, as low as to fight you, fight you myself? myself. I can, I can sense your sense powers. powers. You, are you are nothing, nothing compared, compared to, me. to me. Your, your former, former friends shall suffice, shall suffice for, disposing for disposing of you. Of you. <sighs> well, this is going to be difficult. Sorry about this, guys. Pain. Pain. <sighs> the sad part is. You underestimate the power of emotions, Cortex. Not that I blame her, though. I honestly didn't think that would work. You shall pay for that, girl! And of course she sends Connor. Guys, you all need to get out of here. The doors will open for you. What about you, Hope? I'll be fine, Bolt. I'll deal with Cortex and get everyone else out. Besides, Heatwave and I need to have words anyway. Now's as good a time as any. Go, before she tries something else. You sure you don't want to come out, Cortex? Keep the fight between us girls and leave everyone else out of this? For, for what, what purpose? purpose? As, As I, I have said, said you are no match, match for me. me. Fine. Guess it's going to be the hard way then. Connor, I know you're still in there. Don't give up. You keep fighting, you hear me? Be the stubborn guy you always were in school. The one who took no sparks from anyone. Ever. He cannot hear you, girl. His jealousy and hatred towards you have always blinded him. I hardly need to control him. <laughs> Connor. Whatever happened between us in the past... I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I hurt you in some way, or if someone else hurt you. But I know that you're stronger than this virus. You always have been. You can beat her. What? What is this? N no! I will not be thwarted again! Time to throw the flash drive for this virus. Peace. Peace. Uh, she, she, she's gone? 
You... you actually... Looks like I actually managed to hold my own against your fire, Connor. Yeah. <sighs> Look, Hope. I'm sorry for the way I've Shh. acted. It's okay, Connor. I get it. We can apologize later, when there isn't a psychic motherboard trying to take over. Right now, you need to get out of here before... No. I'm staying to help. Connor, now isn't the time to put on the tough guy act. This isn't about me being tough. This is about stopping Cortex before she gets stronger and hurts even more people. But what if she... She won't. Like she said, I was jealous of you. I always have been. It made me blind to everything else. But I'm not that person anymore. She won't be able to control me as easily as she did before. <sighs> All right, then. I can't deny that it'll be useful to have some help. Let's go, then. It's over, Cortex. We've broken your control over everyone else here. You have nobody else to hide behind, and you can't control either of us. You've lost. <laughs> that is where you are wrong, boy. I may not be able to control you any longer, but there is one mind here that has no defense against my powers. Now, let us take a look through your mind, shall we? <laughs> so, you have always been the outcast girl. None of the others understood your abilities, and they never accepted you. No. Stop! Even your parents never understood you. They even tried to find a way to remove your powers. <laughs> Stop it! Sparks. She's using my past memories. All that sorrow and loneliness. I can help you, girl. You desire revenge? I can grant you that wish. You desire admiration? I can put your name in their mouths and your face in their thoughts. They would worship you like a deity. Maybe... Maybe she's right. Maybe things would be better if... Hope! Wait. Hope! Come on, you what? idiot! Don't let her win! You're better than that! Connor... Pay no attention to him, girl. He could never understand you. Never truly know your pain. After all, he caused most of your pain. He may not understand me. But neither do you! What? How? <laughs> My turn, you silver-tongued motherboard. You've got a lot of anger and sadness in you, Cortex. Get out of my head this instant! <laughs> oh no! You went digging around in my head when it suited you. Now it's my turn to see what's in yours. Hope, are you okay? I'm what's fine, going Connor. on? Your words were just the push I needed. I'm in her head now. Uh, of a sort. What's going on? What are you doing to her, Cortex? <laughs> oh, this is none of my doing, boy. These are the consequences of her abilities. What are you talking about? <sighs> my 
my powers. Connor, I can't use my powers for very long. Or my own negative emotions catch up to me. They cause me physical pain. And I've used my powers quite a lot recently. I told you, girl. You are no match for me. My powers do not rely on my own emotions, and yours cause you pain. <laughs> you... you don't even have true emotions, Cortex. You couldn't even understand... That's it, then. That's what I have to do. What nonsense are you speaking, girl? You haven't allowed your true emotions to affect you since you were young. That's why I can sense so much anger and sadness from you. That is none of your concern, girl. Connor, tell everyone else thank you. Especially Aid. They've all done more for me than they realize. Hope. What are you... No. You can't! I'm sorry that we never got to be friends, Connor. Feel.